All right, guys, once again, I'm Andre with Andre and Andre's Love Crossing Borders. All right, guys, today is May 15th, the day in which the House voted on the Economic Stimulus Bill Part 2, which shows for the $3 trillion package in which they want to give to the American public to stimulate the economy. Now that it is passed, the House is going to be signed tomorrow. The next step is for it to make it to the Senate on Monday. Now, mind you, the Senate can just reject. They may be interested in creating their own stimulus package. So at the end of the day, uh, the Republicans realize that A, this is an election year. B, it may take a little more time to put together a package. C, 80% of what they have already uh, put in the original package in which we all have received is going into this new package. So basically the Democrats really haven't uh, presented anything new. And D, the Democrats also have let them know through Nancy Pelosi in her press conferences and her website that, hey, everything is open for negotiations. They're just trying to make sure that they get enough monies out here for us individuals. In other words, getting a second round of stimulus checks sent to you. So those are the things that they're talking about in regards to that. Once again, this is Andre. I need for you guys to click the subscribe button. Make sure you click the notification bell. The reason why you're gonna click on the notification bell because anytime, whether you're living in the States or whether you're living abroad, anytime I post a new video, and we're gonna to continue to track this every day, even on the weekends. Anytime I post a new video, you guys will be able to get the latest updated video as soon as possible, meaning that you're going to get the latest information. As I said, let your boy do all your homework, do all the research while you take care of you and your family. So let's get started. The first thing that they talked about is that they, of course, they want to offer us or give us another stimulus check. Now, I know many of you have yet to receive the first stimulus check. I understand that but they're still offering a second stimulus check for many of us as well. Uh, that second one, I've been hearing everything from a $6,000 uh, payout to America, each American household that will go over a series of months or backtrack months. I've been hearing that'll be just another $1,200 check coming through. Whatever it may be, one thing I can tell is that it may not be less than another $1,200 check. So that's pretty good. We can use another $1,200. We all know we could use a lot more, but at least we know that something is coming back. And I'm noticing that back home in the States, a lot of states are starting to open back up. That means a lot of opportunities out there for employment that will be taking place as well. Now, let's look at this. Let's look at the next thing that has to do with the bill. The next thing is that they say that they're going to put in there uh, 1.3 trillion will go towards state and local funding. Now, what does that mean? Realize you have unemployment offices that have to continue to give funds. So therefore that's going to go towards that uh, hospitals, anything that had to do that's, that's coronavirus related that, or that has been impacted by the coronavirus, this funding for the States, as well as the local city government will be used to take care of things that have been impacted by the coronavirus. This things that goes on behind the scenes that we don't know about in our local uh, districts. So those, they need funding for those things as well. So that's a part of the bill also. The next part of the bill, which we're also excited about, is the HEROES Act. And what the HEROES Act is, is for the essential workers. A lot of essential workers have been working really long hours, straight through the week, straight through the days, whether it be package delivery, whether it be at restaurants, your local restaurant, whether it be at the hospitals or the police officers or the, the nursing home workers. Uh, we give kudos and, and a salute to all of you and thank you for all that you've done during this time period of the pandemic. And so to show you guys some love, the government inside the bill in which the House voted on today, that will be part of it, the HEROES Act. And that will help uh, if you're, for example, if you were making $13 an hour, that Heroes Act funding will help pay you $15 or se or $17 or $20 an hour. It's just monies that will go towards you as a essential worker. So that's a part of the bill. 
also a part of the bill is going to be a 15 percent increase and we talked about this the other day a 15 percent increase in food stamps so individuals that are receiving food stamps a part of this bill hopefully go through for you in regards to monies that you have to feed uh, to, to go to the store and feed your family so that's another thing that's going to be a plus regarding this bill so i'm just talking about things that will benefit us all in the long run now we know that this is a, a 1800 page bill so i didn't read through all of it but i'm just giving you the just that benefits us in the long run as far as expats and as far as individuals uh, in the states so let's individuals in the states so let's continue the next thing that we noticed that it has to do is the COVID 19 testing now this is very important because one of the things that America has been criticized for, especially we've seen it from other countries, especially being on the outside, that we didn't jump on top of testing individuals as well as we should have. And so what the House is putting forth in regards to the uh, coronavirus. So they realize that if we jump on top of things right now, don't give up, continue to fight forward, even though many states are opening up. It gives us a head start regarding which direction the pandemic is heading. And so they want to make sure they fund that and make sure we are as Americans are being tested as well as we should have. The next thing is that they want to extend the six hundred dollar benefit uh, that unemployment individuals are receiving, whether it be weekly or monthly. They want to extend that to January. So those of you that are receiving unemployment or plan on receiving unemployment or you filed for your unemployment and you haven't received it yet, that is one of the things that they're trying to do is give you more monies or at least give you the monies in which you're going to receive or have received on an extended basis. So that's a good thing. So now, now that the voting is done, the bill goes over to the Senate. Once it gets to the Senate on Monday, like I mentioned before, the Senate has the chance to break it down, tear it apart, rip it apart, negotiate with it or push it to the side and create their own. But nine times out of the 10, the Senate is going to sit down. The, the Republicans are going to sit down with the Democrats and they're going to come with a happy meeting because this happened once again during an election year. And the last thing that they want to happen is that they go through a recess. They go into a recess until June. And that means none of us get any monies. The state funding doesn't happen. The extension on your uh, on your on your food stamp doesn't happen. The extension on unemployment doesn't happen. And yet they're in recess. There will be repercussions when it comes to voting uh, in November. And they realize that. So they're going to try their best if they have if they have any sense as politicians. Let's hope that they do. And they get this negotiation done. And get this bill passed hopefully by the end of next week we love to see that the end of next week that this bill has passed and is sitting on the president's desk to be signed now once again this is where you come in as a u.s voter whether you're in the country or out of the country here is the expat impact down in the description we have put the phone number for the u.s capital the switchboards will connect you with the Senate or the House. It's up to you. But let your representatives know how you feel regarding this bill or regarding a bill like this passing. As I mentioned before, 80% of the last bill is being put into this bill. So it's nothing new. It's just making sure that it passed so we get the economy stimulated. Say that three times real fast. That's another reason why you want to continue to follow us on Love Crossing Borders because the information in which we receive is not only for those that live in the United States, but also as U.S. citizens, the nine million of us that live outside the United States. Lastly, I want to say thank you to individuals from around the world that have reached out to me, American citizens that have reached out to me from the Philippines, from here in Colombia, from Thailand, and asked questions in regards to where their checks are, are they going to be receiving a deposit, or what's going on. So continue to reach out to me, put your questions in the comment sections. I will not forget or, or pass over any, anybody that knows us, you can look in our comment section right now. All comments are responded to and nine times out of ten I'll be doing a video on that exact topic in which you're speaking so that means if you have a question 
and I have a question, that means somebody else probably has that exact same question. So we're going to do some research on it, do a video on it. Make sure that you subscribe to Love Crossing Borders and make sure that you click the notification bell to make sure that you get the latest update on the video. So yeah, we got through the first phase. The House has passed the bill. Now it's time for it to go over to the Senate on Monday. And on Monday, we're going to give you some more updated information on Monday. So therefore, uh, expect this weekend videos to take place. And on Monday, we're going to give you some more updated information on the bill that is going to help stimulate the economy again. Once again, this is Andre with Andre and Andrea's Love Crossing Borders. We appreciate you guys more than you realize.